Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of T-Dog RC. Here we are back in the loft again, back on the bench. And today we are going to be talking about the Zoe HD, um, the auto launch feature of Zoe HD. And I've got a demo of using it out at the field, which is a little bit later on in this video, so you can see how it works. Um, but crucially, we're going to be talking about something that I've done, um, which allows you to get full control over the throttle because normally with Zo HD auto launch it controls the throttle and I've seen on a lot of forums people are complaining about that and saying that they'd like to be able to control the throttle themselves um, but I've I've got a way of doing it so that's what I'm going to be talking about so let's get stuck in Okay, so you know that I'm a pretty big fan of the ZOHD co-pilot because I'm not very good at hand launching. Um, fly quite a lot on my own. It's not easy to do on your own, particularly if it's a new model. So when this came out and it had got the auto launch feature, um, I was really chuffed that, that uh, there was something on the market that had the facility to allow you to hand launch it and it would fly it for you, which is brilliant. The issue is out of the box it's set up with um, on, on the actual uh, flight controller itself um, there are inputs for aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder and an auxiliary so you plug everything in obviously aileron's elevator and you throttle and the rudder um, and what it's designed to do is the auto launch feature allows you to um, throttle the plane up on the ground so you open the throttle up to whatever setting you want it to be on um, once you've enabled auto launch on your transmitter but it doesn't actually th actually activate the motor um, so it's like a safety feature particularly if you've got a pusher prop or something like that you then throw the model um, and a few seconds after you've thrown it, the um, co-pilot detects how, it, 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 I think it's four meters per second. As soon as the model's traveling four meters per second, the throttle then comes in to whatever you've set it on the controller and hopefully the model flies off into the distance um, and your hand launch is successful. Now that's great if you've got a model that are very much like the Zo HD models. So they're a very uh, light wind, wing loading, very light planes that will, if you just throw them uh, without any throttle, they will actually glide. Um, that works fine. The problem is if you've got something like an EDF, which really requires thrust right from the second that, that you, you throw it, um, it doesn't really work because you've got to really throw it hard and hope that it's going to glide a little bit enough to get it to the four meters per second. Um, before the throttle kicks in and then it's going to go off. Um, also, once it's actually flying and after the auto launch it goes into return to home mode, there's a lot of people complaining that they have no control over the throttle, um, which, you, again, you don't get that because in return to home mode, so HD, uh, sorry, Copilot is controlling the throttle uh, and maintaining the height. Um, so I had a look at this and I had to think about it, the, mainly around the, the, the sort of hand launch feature and the fact that the motor's not activated until a little while after you've thrown the model. Um, and there's an auxiliary channel on this. So Aeron, Elevator, Throttle, Rudder are channels one, two, three, and four. Channel five is by default the mode switch, so that will never change. Channel five is always gonna be the mode switch, so you can switch it to um, return to home or stroke auto launch um, stabilization or nothing and then there's an auxiliary input which is bound to channel six and again you can't change that but that you can use it for whatever you want the auxiliary so maybe if you've got landing gear or flaps or something like that you would use auxiliary on channel six to activate those but of course if you've got a little model that you're going to hand launch like a, a little edf jet it probably won't have gear on it and it probably won't have flaps on it so it again got me thinking you could use that auxiliary channel, channel six, as your throttle control and basically just set up a mix on your radio to mirror channel three. Um, I use a uh, FreeSky 
uh, OpenTX radio, which um, throttles on channel three, but whatever channel you throttles on, mirror that, set up a mix to mirror that with channel six, and then plug your throttle into the auxiliary input of this. Um, hopefully that will give you your throttle control, but it will still be able to use the auto launch, even though you've not got anything plugged into the throttle um, port. Um, so I set that up, I tested it on the bench, it all worked fine, I got full control over the throttle, um, and the only real way to really go out and test it um, with the auto launch feature was to uh, get to the field and see whether it worked. And um, yeah, well, you, you'll you find out whether it worked because um, I'm about to roll the video of me down at the field for the very first time using this uh, method of plugging the throttle channel into channel six. So I've got complete control over the throttle uh, and then using the auto launch feature. So let's have a look at how it went. Um, so um, this is something new that I'm going to try. Um, it means I've got full control of the throttle. So um, we're going to throttle it up, stick it into auto launch mode, give it a throw and hopefully it will fly itself, but we'll see. There we go. So it's currently in return to home mode. And it's just going round. So what I've got to do now take it out of this and then obviously trim it up, which could be a challenge. Getting a bit low. Okay, so we're in manual mode now. Let's bring it into land, I think. Whoop. Okay, so we're going to go for flight two then. So put it into launch mode. You can see the ailerons start twitching away. And we're gonna throttle up and give it a go. So I'm gonna let it come round. and then I'll flick it out of launch mode or return to home. Okay, so I've got control now. That's a bit better. Not too bad again. So there you are. You can see from my video that it was successful and throughout the flight uh, in return to home mode, I've got total control over the throttle 
Um, so I'm really chuffed with that because it now sort of opens up a lot of options around hand launching little EDFs um, and things like that. Um, so that's going to be really good going forward. Um, so hopefully you found that useful. Um, don't get me wrong, if I've got a model that um, is really easy to hand launch and it will just glide on its own, then I'll probably just go ahead and, and use the, um, the standard channel three and let the Zoe, uh, let the co-pilot control the throttle. But for anything like an EDF or something like that, then I'm gonna use the channel six option so I've got total control. Excellent, okay, well, thanks very much for watching. And as I say, hope you found that interesting. If you've got any comments, um, any questions about this, then leave them in the uh, below the video and I'll, I'll get back to you. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe and also please give me a thumbs up and a like uh, because that helps me appear more on other people's YouTube feeds. Okay, I'll see you soon.